Welcome back. We are going to be taking apart this uh, Tipman M4 and it would be the same way you take a regular AR, you grab the takedown pins. We're going to use a little punch because it's, you know, new. I don't want to damage my nails, um, you know. And it goes just the same way you take a regular AR into pieces. We are going to be changing the pins first. And we have in our box of goodies, Tipman Arms sent us the takedown pins. Uh, I'm going to give you a little secret. Actually, we have a client the other day that asked me how I changed that pin without letting the spring fly away. So the takedown pins, they have a little hole in here. And you're going to put a pick, paper clip or anything to push that little pin inside and then you're going to twist it. See that? I have not taken the pin out. I'm going to put my hand to cover around it and I'm going to take my pin out. That way the plunger doesn't go flying. I'm going to take that Timber Creek awesome pins there. They're lightweight. They're anodized aluminum. I'm going to reuse the spring and plunger in here. So you can do whatever you want. You can use the new ones or not. And the trick to this is you're going to use the old pin and you're going to push it backwards so you can press the plunger, locking it in place. See how it is now there, lock? So I'm going to use the other one to just press and push forward. And that's it. There you go. That is actually the front takedown pin switch, sweet and fast. The other one goes when we take down the uh, castle nut and uh, we're going to do that in a little bit.